It's hard to think that some of these vehicles were the only mode of transport for disabled people, such as this Victorian wicker back chair and this 1950s dingwall hand-propelled invalid carriage. Nowadays, we can adapt to any vehicle, hence the reason why the exhibition is being called Transport for Disabled People, Past, Present, Future. And today, this group of disabled youngsters gave it the thumbs up. It's very interesting, it shows you how how the how disabled people used to get around a few years ago it just shows you how much it's changed i think it's really good because with the old vehicles we're gonna, with the new vehicles would be because like the old vehicle showing you how the old vehicles used to work the exhibition organized by mobilize and thought to be the first of its kind was officially opened by former paralympian dame tanny gray thompson an ex loughborough university student I think if you look at some of the, the really old, you know, again, invalid carriages, it's, it's just the way that it's described kind of makes you feel sort of slightly horrified by the name. Um, but sort of some of the old kind of bikes where you had kind of a pull push um, and, and that was kind of, you know, for a lot of people, it was the only way of getting around. Now, this particular mode of transport is known as an Argerson Deluxe and it was built for a gentleman who had polio. He decided he didn't want to sit at home in his wheelchair all the time. Therefore, he had this built and then decided to conquer the Swiss Alps and the rest of Europe. The event runs at Coventry Transport Museum until July. Marcus Bennett in Coventry for Central Tonight.